Welcome to part 3 of the Mosefline series. In this tutorial I'm going to create this uh, grass growth animation. So I'm just going to start by creating a plane object and I'm also going to create a cloner and a Mosefline. I'm going to make the Mosefline a child of the cloner like this and I'm going to set the cloner to object mode and I'm going to drag and drop the plane object into the object uh, input. I'm going to set distribution to surface like this so I can I can basically control the count. So next stage I'm going to I'm going to call this most line long and I'm going to duplicate this control drag and I'm going to create call this uh, most line short like that. I'm going to set the length of this to um, just one centimeter, like that. So now I've got this uh, mix of long and short most blinds. The long most blind, I'm just going to curve it slightly, like this. Just give it some bend. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the cloner and set it to, instead of iterate, I'm going to set, set it to a blend mode. So we basically get um, kind of all the lengths in between the short and the long spline. Now I'm going to go to cloner and add a plane effector. And I'm going to uncheck position. And just um, I'm going to set modify clone to 100% like this. Now everything's um, basically set to two centimeters. And you can always play with min-max here if uh, you don't get this result. You can control the kind of minimum value and the maximum value here. But uh, everything looks okay. So I'm going to create another uh, plane effector. And this is going to be to control the animation. So I'm going to call this uh, just plane anim. And this first one just plane INIT for initialize. So I'm going to go to my animation plane effector and uncheck position. I'm going to put modify clone to 100% again. And now I'm just going to play with the min max settings. So 0, 0 seems to do it like that. So now I can uh, basically animate the strength and make the grass grow like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a linear fall off. Just rotate it 90 degrees, holding down control, sorry, shift. Just going to move this back. So by uh, dragging this, I can animate the grass growing on. And I can always go back to my uh, long most line and edit it further. that. So I'm just going to keyframe this quickly. Um, I've got a keyframe at 50 over here. Just play that back. I'm just going to set the fall off to 100%. And now finally I'm going to go to um, the long most line and where it says fields I'm going to drop a wind in here. So I'm just going to go to simulate uh, particles wind like that. Oops, let's drag it out. I'm just going to move it up. Just check my four views. Uh, out there, yeah. And I'm going to drag this into the fields uh, input like that of the long mole spline. And I'm just going to set wind speed to 22, increase turbulence, frequency, see what happens. Nothing's happening yet. Oh, I figured out the problem. Uh, for some reason, uh, automatically, the mode is set to exclude. Now, I don't know why they do that, because it doesn't make any sense. But you basically need to set the mode to include the wind. And now it's reacting. 
So uh, something to definitely watch out for. So I'm just going to reset my wind properties. Um, I'm actually going to reduce the speed. Just make it one. I just want some very subtle wind. Maybe a bit stronger. Something like that. And I'm just going to hide the wind and the effectors. So there you go. Finally, I'm just going to show you how to render this. Right now it's not rendering, so um, you can always create a hair object, shader, hair material, and just apply this to the most lines. Now we can see the grass in the viewport. Obviously, you might want to change the color, um, maybe get rid of specular. But um, I'll leave these settings to you. So um, that's the end of the tutorial, and uh, thanks for watching.